the stunning power of nature, the intricate balance between existence and what comes next. Without these graceful predators, the ecosystem here would collapse upon itself. Without the prey, life would simply cease. The water and air, and even the soil, all help form precise mechanics of this microcosm. A global society of natural interplay writ small. Within this Sholazar Basin, the most remarkable of creatures has yet to be discovered. Captured only in fleeting glimpses, the evidence hints tantalizingly at a post-tribal culture, one which could revolutionize our understanding of the world and our place in it. Welcome to day one of the Shalazar Basin Expedition. My name is Francois Messerschmidt, Associate Professor of Anthropology and renowned lecturer on shamanic rituals. I'm here, deep in the heart of the jungle, where my team and I are going to attempt to capture, on film, for the very first time, the mysterious badger men. Uh, that's, that's badger people, Francois. What? People? Yes, yes, badger people. Thank you, Julius. You know, there's a time for political correctness, and well, uh, I just thought we should. You know, we'll to... be here all day if you start correcting me every time. You see that, Fr Francois? Look. What? I can't see. <gasps> there. Th this is phenomenal. Shh, shh, shh. It's day one, and already I, Francois Messerschmidt, a and Julius, am filming the rumored and until now undocumented badger men. Badger people. What a rare opportunity! Look. Look, it's it's almost like they're having a conversation. I wonder what they could possibly be talking about with their primitive hooting and grunting. Hooting and grunting? Francois, it's pretty obvious they're speaking. Quick, Julius, one of them's on the move. Let's go. Now I'm going to jump out there and surprise him. Most ferocious beasts like this respond well to a sudden shock. They tend to back down. Are you sure about that? Of course I'm... Here he comes, let's go! Hello! Me, Francois, we come long way. What is your name? I'm Greg. Such an exciting moment. Nice to meet you, Greg. Can you understand my words? Unreal. I've got to get this guy back to the village. Him and Bobby together is going to be hilarious. This opportunity is simply breathtaking. I have never been more sure of my role in life than I was at the moment Gureg invited me to meet the rest of the Badgermen. And with the use of this tribal garment, I'm prepared to blend in seamlessly. Are you absolutely sure about that? I am Francois. I thank you for big welcome. You all have such perfect Teeth. Still day one, and I've already introduced myself to most of the tribe. Yeah, yeah, but man, the, the mask, I really don't know. And the, the shouting probably should stop. Uh, they're, they're not deaf, they're, they're badgers. Julius, you and I will just have to agree to disagree. This is a scientific expedition, and my ability to blend in is of paramount importance. I'm making real inroads here. I've been invited to a feast tonight where I'm to be honored. Are you absolutely sure that's what they meant when they said they were having a party and we might as well come? Gureg told me he wanted to barter for some of our camera equipment. Yes, we have many uh, wampums to trade. We give many beads for... <laughs> I am Francois. Well, hey there, pal. My name's Bobby Stewart. I'm the local baker. Put it there. Hey, if you and your buddy there are hungry at all, you gotta stop by and try some of my latest. I've got everything from muffins to croissants, man. I, uh, I, it is good to meet you, Bobby. Well, it's good to meet you too, little fella. Really glad we got to do this. Bagels, coffee cakes, cookies, tarts. I do birthday cakes, anniversaries. I cater, man. You got any kids? Uh, actually, yeah, I've uh, I've got two. Perfect. I got these pumpkin scones, man. This lemon glaze. Oh, that sounds really good. It's a phenomenal. The kids will be in in diabetic coma for weeks. It's now day three. I feel I'm beginning to be accepted by the Badger Man tribe. You're uh, totally sure about that? Some of the children have taken a real liking to me. I think they view me as sort of a hairless uncle. He lets us do that for hours and hours. He's funny. After over a week, living as one with the Badger Men, people, I've observed that several of the Badger Men, people, often congregate around what looks like a book. Could it be that these tribal savages have developed a written language? We've been here for 10 days, and you haven't noticed the signs posted everywhere? I fear my scientific curiosity has gotten the better of me. Cover me! What? 
That's the guy, Mom. Is that my kid's geography textbook? I promise to show the proper respect for this invaluable religious artifact. And then he said it held evidence of post illegal What did he say, Mom? Post-lingual uh, societal development. Do I still have to do my own work? Yes. Gureg is out hunting with the rest of the tribe. Let's go into his burrow and see, up close and personal, how these savages live. Oh, good God. Ah, you see this here? This is a... Uh, oh, here is some incense. Now, what they do with this is they light it and... Oh, gosh, that really burns, doesn't oh, it? Oh, my... What the fuck? That's my fucking butt. Listen, um, Francois, uh, I'm sorry, but... This is not working out. Well, what? But but you have so much more cultural beauty to share. Yeah, we noticed you're real big on the sharing and not so big on compensation. My bakery's not a friggin' continental breakfast, man. You stink! Well, if that's what you really want... Please just go. Well, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed that the Badgermen weren't more receptive to cultural mingling. But on the bright side, I managed to snag that priceless geography book. I'm going to do a documentary about how stupid you are. It belongs in a museum! The jungle. She is majestic and mysterious. Full of dark secrets. But no matter the sacrifices they may have been forced to make, these filmmakers have clearly come away from this experience as better men.